it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. This video is part of the Peacock Blanket series and today we are making the triangle. For this blanket you need the Peacock Yarn Pack which you can find on our website opheliatalkscrochet.com and the written pattern for the blanket is also available there. This video is in a playlist so you can find the others easily when you are creating your blanket at your own pace. Let's take a look at making the triangle. So this is the triangle that we are making of which you will have to make 28. This one will be used to fill up the sides of your blanket because of course we are going to put the squares together diagonally and this will create triangles on the side of our blanket and we will fill them up with this triangle here. So once again use a dark colour for round one, lighter colours for round two and three and a darker colour again for round four. So let me show you how to go about making this. I am going to do my best this time and take dark and light colours as I prescribed. So there we go. Make your slip knot. So I'm using bottle this time for round one. Insert the hook, same hook as you would use usually for DK. So I'm using a three and a half. And you are going to chain six. One, two, three four, five and six. Then we go back to the first chain. We try and get in there. There we go. So one strand here, two strands at the back and we bring through the working yarn and through the loop on your hook. We now have a circle and this is where we are going to get started by working two chains. This one counts as a double crochet. So now into the circle we need to add another eight double crochets because we need nine of them. But of course the chain counts as the ninth one. So we are going to be doing eight double crochets. And one more and so then I have my eight double crochets but with my chain I will have my nine. So then we pull up our loop and we are going to cut off the yarn and we're going to sew in the ends. I have sewn in the ends and here it is important that you sew them in because you will be using that, that last stitch here and it will keep coming undone if you don't. So don't forget that this chain here is going to be part of your, um, your stitches so you'll need to use that. So let's start with dandelion. So we're going to make our slip knot for round two. Insert your hook. So let's get started by finding a location in that chain to go into. So you're going to be doing a standing double crochet. So yarn over, go into that chain, pull up a loop and do a double crochet. And you go into that same location again and you do a second one. So this really is half a corner. Then we are going to use the next three stitches for doing yeah, the three half double crochets that we have been doing in round two of our square as well. So one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Then this here we are going to treat as a corner. So two double crochets, two chains and two double crochets into that same stitch there. Voila. Then one, two, three next stitches for a half double crochet. There we are. And then in the last V here 
we are going to place two double crochets. There we go. And here we have it, a triangular shape. So pull up your loop and let's cut off the yarn and pull it out. There we go. And sew in your ends. So we are going to get started each time where we started and we finish each time where we finished. So at the end of round two, we now have 14 stitches and of course we're not counting the chain. So here I now have apple and I'm making my slip knot, inserting my hook and we are going to get started on round three. So we are going to yarn over and again we're going to try and get started right at the edge with two double crochets. So try to get under that first V whichever way you can and place two double crochets. So then we are going to chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one and a double crochet in the next stitch. Then we do a chain one and we do the corner. So two double crochets, two chains and two double crochets. So now when you get started here on the other side again, here we didn't actually skip a stitch like we did in the square because there's just no place. It's a little bit different, everything. So we are going to do the same thing here. So we chain one and then we are going to do our first double crochet in here. So we do create a box but not by skipping something, we just make it happen by doing our chain. Okay, so that's what we need to do to make sure that we have everything we need for our triangle to work out. And then of course you do chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next one, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next one, chain one, skip one, and then here we are going to do two double crochets to end our side. There we go. So we are doing one, two, three, one, two, three double crochets on each side. Voila. There we go. So that is the end of round three. Cut it off, pull it out and sew it in. So here we are at the end of round three. I have 14 double crochets in my round here. So now I am going to use the Emperor. It's a nice dark color. <laughs> and we are going to do the last round. So start with your slip knot. And once again, into that very first stitch here, we are going to try and get in and do two double crochets. And then we are going to start doing our double crochets. So one double crochet on top of the next stitch. One double crochet around the chain space. One double crochet on top of the next stitch. Around the chain space. On top of the stitch. Around the chain space. On top and around. So we repeat this four times. And then we do a double crochet on top of the next stitch. So one of the corner ones. So let's see if we can get in there. There we go. And then we skip a stitch and then we do the two double crochets, two chains, 
and two double crochets for that corner. There we go. And then same thing here as we did here. We skipped one and then we worked in the next one. So we are going to do that here as well. And then we start putting them around and on top again. Around, on top. Around, on top. So here as well, just as in the square, you're going to count the stitches in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you need to do nine stitches. So one more in there. And then we do here, we do two double crochets in that last stitch for part of our corner. So you are also placing nine stitches in between the two corners, of course, here as well. So these are the, hang on, these are the nine. And then, of course, this is the corner and this is what, you know, half a corner would look like. So this is the end of our triangle. We are going to once again pull up the loop, cut off the yarn and sew in the ends. And then you will be ready to use this in your blanket. So for my triangle here, I now have 26 stitches, not counting the chain two in the middle. So the square that we are making today measures along the base 12 centimeters or four and three quarter inches. On the side, it measures nine centimeters or three and a half inches. Now, as I said, you need to make 28 and the same rules apply dark, light, light and dark. So I hope you will enjoy making these and when you have made all of them come back to this playlist so you can find the video on how to assemble your triangles and of course your squares as well. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to guiding you through the assembly process and I hope you will enjoy making this blanket. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!